Right, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. We're on another day ride today. As you can see, we're at Sully Lock. And there's normally a lot of people here, so I'm just having a look what's around. Some toilets over there. There's some people in a long boat thing, kayak, I don't know what you call it. Right, I'm in my little shelter here, man. Right, I'm gonna go to a little town called Melbourne. Maybe we'll see if I can find something to eat. Then I'm going to a reservoir. Just to have a look. It's not that interesting. We'll have to see what happens. Well, just along the Trent and Mersey Canal where the abandoned caravan there used to be three abandoned caravans and i don't know they're, they're gone or somebody's destroyed them because i thought i filmed this in case um stefan page watches it which i'll let him know because he came in with his mate matt yeah there's like a a quarry over there for people that don't know yeah, I wonder why. Unless somebody's just... Some youth has done an arson attack on them. There's a bit of a best dust dump down there. Gas bottles and... Like a trolley there, looks like it could have belonged to a fisherman. Well, I... I just don't know what the hell's happened there. There's a load of crap down there. And here's... Well, here's what's left of the caravans. I mean, somebody's either moved them for some reason I and mean, I don't I don't understand if a fiber if a fiber gate have been down there why would they move them I don't know who's moved them or why but it isn't a bad field you could definitely do a a bivy in there a bit of bivy camping yeah, you can see the definitely all three caravans are here. As I can see the tow bars. One, two, three. Well, that's a bit of a mystery. Because last time I came along here, I actually decided I would come back and have a better look at the caravans. But now they're gone. Anyway, I'm gonna get back on the canal and I'm heading for the Route 6 junction at Western on Trent. Because we're gonna go down the cloud trail a bit. So I'll bring you back soon. I'm glad I brought my battery charger with me because the GoPro is losing its battery again. Right, I'm at route six now. We're going up onto the cloud trail. And all the way back there, as I pass them where the caravans used to be, I had a chat with a bloke who, who said he'd spoken to me before, but I can't rem I can't remember because he said he spoke to me the first time I went to Wellington 
And I was with I was with Ian who Ian will clearly remember it and I just don't I can't remember speaking to anyone but you know Well I chat with a guy and we were speaking about um the Jesus of kayaking and nosy bastard and etc. As I said, that's how I knew about the caravans originally. I'll get back on my bike in a minute. Just giving you the update. Well, do you know what? I'm slightly cold and I normally warm up when I'm cycling. But I'm just not warming up. But I'll carry on. Well, I'm in the town of Melbourne and I was near a fish and chip shop up there, which was so tempting. Well, I think there's a garage up here where I can get some feed. Well, I'm at the reservoir and unfortunately, it seems you're not allowed to go along the damn wall. And the GoPro won't, you can't really zoom in. private property I don't think it's I'm not sure but I don't think it's possible to like go all the way round this like at Kensington Water there's like a track I don't think there is it and there's muggles around well, I'm at the visitor centre and there's like a garden like garden singer there's some footpaths, but yeah, you definitely can't walk all the way around the lake or ride a bike. You know, there's some woods you can walk in. It's kind of Bug, bug hat things that like, so like, bugs all live inside it. Bird feeders and there's a load of cameras up there. And there's a, there's a cafe over there. And there's not many people in it. And I did bring a bike lock with me. Well, I've got my lock on my bike and I'm gonna go in the cafe and see what I got. Well, I've got a coffee and crisps. I'm waiting for a sausage roll to be brought out. Old telephone box there, but it's an information point. Right, look at that. That's what being a cyclist is about. And the coffee is nice too. Well, that was really nice. I was going to finish my coffee off.
Well, that was really nice having a calf stop. I recommend any local cyclists come out there. I thought I might as well take a walk through these woods because I need to go back over to the other side anyway to get out and I'm going to, I'm going to head back home a slightly different way because I mean I do like the Trenton Mersey but I fancy I'm going to ride along some road and head towards East Midlands Airport well, I'm back near the way out you can see the reservoir through the trees and there is a dam wall there is actually another reservoir further towards Burton on Trent maybe when the days are longer and slightly warmer I'm planning to ride all the way across and there's a place called there's like a Culk Abbey it's spelt with a C like C A L K E. I'll probably see if I can visit there as well. Anyway, I'm about ready to go out to the gate. And as you can see, it's quite hilly round there. Someone left a comment on one of my videos saying they reckoned it. Even though they aren't from around here, they reckon it's flat. Well, anybody who lives around here or has ridden a bike around here, you know, will know that it certainly isn't flat. The town I live in is like all hills. I mean, it may look flat because the areas where the canals are, are flat. And that's why the... When the canals were built, like in the Victorian times or whenever, they built them on the flat bits for a reason. Be well, anyway, time to go. Right, I said I'm going to go onto Route 6, which is the Cloud Trail. And sort of head into Derby and go back that way so let's get on with it right, I'm just on the cloud trail still I spotted this don't know what it was used for never seen it before right next to the river Trent there's some kind of a brick structure and somewhere what could be some kind of a boiler. I'm not going to go down there, but I just thought it was interesting. You'll probably get down there, but not today. Right, I'm kind of back at home. I don't know what this video will be like or how long it will be, but I hope you've enjoyed it there's going to be some changes to the channel soon so I'll let you know when them changes are ready to happen right let me know if you've been out on your bike because this is a cycling channel it's what we do on this channel is life is better when you pedal I'm James Edwards and I'm gonna get off home now. We'll see you on the next video. Alright, bye for now.